Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, rosacea, eczema, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the, wor- what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you have questions about skin health or skin formulations or truth treatment products, or if you just have a common or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase all your favorite longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, the go-to active ingredient for dealing with dark spots or hyperpigmentation, melasma, whatever you want to call it, fine lines and wrinkles for blemishes, for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, the kind of dark spots you get after a pimple or a zit starts to go down or if you, after a, a cut heal, sometimes after skin is inflamed, it will darken. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is best addressed with retinol and vitamin C, which is what you get in our truth retinol 5% gel. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. In any of our truth treatment products, they're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And speaking of the skin, we have been talking about the skin, my personal favorite organ in the body. We always call it the body's largest organ, but we really don't think of it like an organ. There's something that's very non-organ-like, apparently non-organ-like about the skin. How many of us can look at our skin right now and say, well, it looks like an organ, right? It just looks like a covering on the outside of the body. It doesn't look like an organ, but underneath, still waters run deep, as they say, and underneath the surface is a roiling, bubbling cauldron of biochemical activity. All kinds of things are happening under the skin, and understanding how to leverage that, understanding how to take advantage of all the biochemical processes that are happening underneath the skin is the key to anti-aging and the fact that we don't understand what's going on underneath the skin surface is why we spend billions of dollars in skincare products and nobody seems to be happy with their skincare. We break out, we don't know why, our skin is dry, we don't know why, we got rashes and itching and aging and wrinkles and pimples and and we don't know what the heck is going on and we just count on the pretty lady at the department store with the white coat or the doctor who knows everything because he's a doctor to help us with our skin. And how often do they help us with our skin? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. That's why I started the truth. That's why I, that's why I started developing my products. I saw that there was a sense of dissatisfaction 
people are just not satisfied with their skincare because we don't understand the skin. So we're changing that here. That's my mission in life is to help people understand their bodies, but especially the skin. Got three main layers, as we said yesterday, got three main layers of the skin. The tippy top surface is like hard fingernail like material. Just think microscopic fingernail coating the surface, and that microscopic fingernail is like a varnish that holds everything in place. It's like a lamination. It's like if you go get your driver's license or some some a credit card or something laminated, that's what that surface is. It's like lamination, and it keeps everything in place. That lamination keeps our entire body in place. It's called the stratum corneum. Now the key to, to key, the key to the real important point about the stratum corneum is you can manipulate it. You can work with it. By war, it's not like it's inert lamination. It's it's biology. There's stuff happening in there. And if you learn learn how to work with the stratum corneum, you can do amazing things to keep your skin beautiful and healthy and young. And it's it really is next to nutrition. Manipulating the stratum corneum is the most important thing for you to do for your skin. I'm talking internal nutrition and external nutrition. Underneath that, you have your epidermis, and underneath that, you have your dermis. The dermis is the bulk of the skin. That's where the wrinkles are. And the key to everything we're talking about here today is that by manipulating, to understanding what we're talking about, is that by manipulating the stratum corneum, you can turn on the dermis. That is so important because we have access to the stratum corneum. That's why peels and exfoliation processes are so important. We'll talk about that here in a second. So underneath, the, at the very bottom, you have your dermis. And then between the stratum corneum and the dermis, you have the epidermis. That is a really fascinating piece of tissue, too. The epidermis is itself made up of different layers. I'm not going to go through all the layers of the epidermis. The stratum corneum is one layer. I, I separate it out, but technically speaking, it's one layer of the epidermis. The bottom of the epidermis, that's where the living cells are. And this is really where it gets interesting. The bottom of the epidermis, I hope I'm not getting too in the weeds here. The bottom of the epidermis, which is just above the dermis, you have two layers. You got a basal layer and you got a squamous layer. And if those terms sound familiar, they should because that's where your cancer is. Basal cell cancer is in the basal layer. Squamous cell cancer is in the next layer up. And those are the only two kinds of strictly skin cancers, even though they do say that a melanoma is a skin cancer. It really is not in the sense that you have melanomas inside your body as well as you do outside your body. So I'm, I'm not even going to talk about those, although the melanomas do obviously occur in the skin uh, because the cells call melanocytes. And that's kind, of a, that's kind of another living cell that's in the skin. But that, that's not technically a skin cell. The two major skin cells where you get can major skin cells where you get cancer are basal cells and squamous cells. They call them that because they live in the basal layer and the squamous layer. As the cells are rising to the top, they are pro uh, becoming less and less alive. They move up to the top. Think about this. The, the top is made up of these dead cell carcasses, which are derived from the cells that are coming up to the top. They're, they're moving. It's called transit time or turnover time. Every esthetician and dermatologist knows about transit time and turnover time, especially estheticians, because that's where the anti-aging comes in. That's where you get to work with the skin is in this transit time. You don't really have direct access in the dermis, but you've got direct access, semi-direct access, at this layer where the, where the cells are going from the basal layer to the squamous layer all the way up to the top. That's called turnover time. Now, here's where it gets super cool. As the cells are rising to the top, becoming progressively less alive, progressively more dead, changing shape, getting harder, they are dumping their contents overboard. A skin cell, like all cells, has lots of contents in it. And this is the only place this really happens in the body where the cells are dumping their contents overboard as they rise to the top and then they become dead and eventually all their contents are gone and they're just a shell and then they sit at the surface of the skin for a short period of time before they flop off. The stuff that's getting dumped overboard is not just garbage, it's not just waste, it's not just junk, it's very functional. The stuff that's getting dumped overboard is very important for keeping your skin healthy. This is really important because it means that the more movement you have, the more the good stuff you're going to have dumped overboard. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls at 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. the bright 
Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can also call 866-735-2470. For more information, 866-735-2470, and ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start the longevity business, be in business for yourself, and help change the world at the most fundamental level there is, the level of health and wellness. Longevity makes it really easy to get healthy using nutritional supplementation. The Healthy Start Pack costs you 120 bucks a month. You get it delivered right to your doorstep. And uh, got everything you need, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. And if you start yourself a business, you get the products at, all, at the wholesale price. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we're talking about the skin. I hope I'm not getting too much inside baseball here on how the skin moves, skin cells move, and how we can control the skin. Because really, we're all, most of us, I don't say all of us, but the vast majority of us interact with skin care on some level using lotions or potions or wrinkle creams or pimple creams or eczema creams. Or, and if we don't understand the skin, how are we going to make a buying decision? How are we going to know what works and what doesn't work? We're going to believe Cindy Crawford when she spews that nonsense about the melon that only grows off the coast of France once a year is, is harvested by natives and put in her skincare product. We believe that baloney. We believe that silliness because she's Cindy Crawford, because we don't understand the skin. So understanding how this stuff happens is really important if we're going to make good buying decisions, and we're all making buying decisions, if not always good. So the skin cells move upwards from the bottom layer to the top layer. That's called transit time or turnover time. The bottom layer of the epidermis is where your basal cells are, the basal layer and the squamous layer, squamous cells. Those are the only two living cells in the epidermis and the stratum corneum, of course. Those are the only two living cells. I shouldn't say that. The melanocytes are also living, but they're not technically skin cells. Melanocyte. Remember, cyte always means cell. C-Y-T-E. Cyte always means cell. So a melanocyte is a cell that makes melanin, pigment. It's found inside the body as well as outside the body, which is why I kind of don't really like to refer to it as a skin cell, although most skincare professionals will tell you it's a skin cell. Okay? You decide. But the basic skin cell, that's called a keratinocyte because it makes keratin. Keratin is a hard protein that's like your fingernails, coating of your hair. And this keratinocyte, it's, it's called the keratinocyte because its main function is to produce this keratin. It's rising up to the top. And uh, as it's rising upwards to the top, it's becoming more and more progressively more and more dead. It's changing shape until it finally becomes a hard shell or carcass at the surface. But the cool part is, at least for me, the cool part is, is as it's moving upwards, it's dumping its contents overboard. And those contents then become moisture factors, moisturizers, the skin's natural moisturizers. Why is this important? Well, for a couple reasons. First of all, how many people have dry skin? Do you know human skin should never be dry? Human skin should never be dry. It's a sign that something's wrong. How many of us have dry skin? Almost everybody. And that alone should tell us, it should be an indicator for the, about the state of our health. Because it's, sure, it's not the end of the world to have dry skin. It's not miserable, but it means something's not right. The skin's not supposed to be dry. One of the major reasons the skin is dry is because of nutritional deficiencies. When we are nutritionally deficient, the first place it will show up is the skin. The skin is the canary in the coal mine. The skin is the first place where an issue will show up. In the old days in the coal mines, they put a canary in there, and then when the gas got bad enough, the canary would die, but not bad enough for the people to get sick, but they'd know if the canary died that they better get the heck out of the coal mine. Well, the skin is the same way. The skin is the canary in the coal mine. It's the first place you're going to notice a nutritional deficiency because when we're missing fats, essential fatty acids, when we're missing vitamin A, when we're missing zinc, 
when we're missing vitamin C, they're all very important for the skin, when we're short on amino acids, when we're not digesting our protein, the body will pull nutrients away from the skin and redirect them to the heart and the spleen and the liver and the lungs and the intestines and the gallbladder and the pancreas and all the internal organs. So the skin will become deficient first. And this is one of the major reasons why we have dry skin. Especially deficiencies in vitamin A and deficiencies in essential fatty acids. These are two critical components of the skin's natural moisturizers. Also amino acids, proteins. Yes, that's kind of interesting right there. Amino acids are key players in how the skin moisturizes itself. It's amino acids, and at least partially amino acids and proteins, that are dumped overboard. There's also fats that are dumped overboard. And these fats and amino acids, they all gather together and they act as water magnets. They act as water trappers. This is so amazing. One of the most amazing things in all of biochemistry, certainly in all of skin chemistry, is the idea that these moisture factors, we'll just call them natural moisture factors, these natural moisture factors that are the result of the contents that are, the end result of the contents that are being dumped overboard, are water magnets. And they especially are water magnets for ambient humidity, for the humidity in the air. And they have an ability to sense the ambient humidity so that when you come to Colorado from New York or from Miami where there's less ambient humidity, you, if you're healthy, you'll make more of these water magnets. Your body will produce, more, your skin will produce more water magnets. So it's an adjustment kind of thing. It's a homeostatic mechanism. It's an adjustment mechanism. Remember, the body's always adjusting. So why shouldn't the skin always adjust? The ups are always coming down, and the downs are always coming up. The body's in this constant state of adjusting back to normal. So when hydration drops, when ambient humidity drops, the body just makes more moisture factors. But here's where it becomes problematic. When we get dry and we're not healthy, we don't have the nutrition, and we're not making moisture factors, what do we do? We put a moisturizer on. The single stupidest thing that we do for our, to our skin is to put a moisturizer on. There's a lot of dumb things we do for our skin. Staying out of the sun is a dumb thing to do for your skin. Putting benzoyl peroxide on your acne is a dumb thing to do your skin. Using preservatives on your rubbing preservatives in your skin and, and, and perfume on our skin is a really dumb thing to do to our skin. But among the dumbest things we do to our skin is we put a moisturizer on. Number one, there's no such thing as a moisturizer. It's a, it's a baloney word. It's a marketing word that we've all, that's, that's, has been so uh, immersed in our consciousness that it's now part of the lexicon. It's not part of our, our language. But there's no such thing as a moisturizer. Moisturizer is water. Moisture is water. You can't moisturize. You're softening your skin. They should call it softenizer. Or even worse, they should call it slickerizer because it makes your skin slick. You rub your finger on your... What's happening when you put a moisturizer on is you're feeling the, the product. You're feeling between the skin and the product with your finger. You're not doing anything to the skin, but it's even worse than that because using a moisturizer shuts off the water magnets. Oh, why is that important? I'll tell you why that's important when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Farms has been here. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 6010 I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page, pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com and benfuchsarchive.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. We've got the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites or by calling 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. we got lines open, 844-236-6010. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come, uh, we'll get to you uh, uh, in just a moment. I want to read a couple stories here. This is from the University of Guelph, I think you say it, the University of Guelph, G-U-E-L-P-H. 
Researchers, ha researchers have discovered one of the factors behind nerve cell death and Parkinson's disease, unlocking the potential for treatment to slow the progression of the fatal neurodegenerative disorder. You notice they didn't say stop the progression. They didn't say cure the, or reverse the progression. They didn't even say treat the progression. They said uh, slow the progression. It's going to progress. They may just slow it down. That's what, they're, that's, that's what the medical model is now resorting to. They can't do anything because they're focusing in the wrong place. So wonderful if the scientists have found out that something called cardiolipin, a chemical card, called cardiolipin, helps, uh, which is supposed to help ensure that uh, proteins worked correctly. They found out that this cardiolipin stuff goes awry. Great. They know the molecule that's messed up inside a cell. It doesn't matter. The, what matters is, is that the cell is dying. That's what we should be focusing on. Parkinson's disease is nothing more than the result of cell death, which is the end result itself of cell disease. All disease is cell disease, period. And we don't need to know about the molecules that are messed up inside the cell that's dying. That's dumb. That's biochemical lunacy. That allows them just to sell you drugs that will control whether or not that little protein dies or doesn't, or doesn't die. The cell is dying because it's sick. The cell is dying because it's starving, it's suffocating, and it's toxic. That's all we need to know. The particular molecule inside the cell that doesn't work correctly, that doesn't matter. It's why this is happening, and it's only happening because of three reasons, starvation, suffocation, and toxification. And if it happens in one part of your brain, you'll call it Parkinson's disease. If it happens in another part of your brain, you'll call it Alzheimer's disease or dementia. They're the same thing. If it happens in another part of your body, you'll call it arthritis, or you'll call it liver disease, or you'll call it skin disease, or you'll call it whatever disease you'll call it, but it's all the same thing. We don't need special, uh, special doctors. We don't need special drugs. We don't need special anything. We don't need any specialists. The only people who care about specialists are the specialist wives and the specialist kids because the specialists make a lot of money being specialists, but they don't help anybody because we don't need specialists. We need generalists. We need cellists. We need biochemists. We need people who understand how this whole thing works, not specialists. When we figure it all out, your specialists are going to go be, you'll see them delivering pizzas and doing drywall and selling aluminum siding and doing productive work, not being specialists and telling you they can't do anything except give you this drug or take this organ out. All right, that's me on my high horse. I apologize. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let me get one more story in here and then we'll get your phone calls. Uh, let's see which one I want to read here. Brainwaves show how exercising to music bends your mind from Brunel, University's, uh, from Brunel University. New researchers have, uh, researchers have used portable electroencephalogram, EEG monitoring devices, to show how music rearranges your brain's electrical frequency, causing a drop in focus but enhancing enjoyment. How do you like that? Drop in focus but enhancing enjoyment. Love that. You think, well, wait, wait a minute. Is there a relationship between focus and enjoyment? Yeah, focus activates your beta brain waves. Enjoyment activates your theta and alpha brain waves. Enjoyment is parasympathetic. Focus is sympathetic. Focus is stress. If you look at your eyes when you're focusing or when you're in your focus brainwave state, you'll see they're really narrow and constricted. When you look at your eyes when they're in their relaxed enjoyment state, they're open and dilated. That's why they look, that's why the police will look at your eyes to see if you're, you've been enjoying yourself too much with drugs or alcohol because your eyes will be dilated. If you've been enjoying yourself too much, that's an enjoyment test, actually. That little light that they stick in your eyes are seeing how much you're enjoying yourself at least biochemically speaking. And it turns out that music activates those same pathways, activates uh, feel-good brain chemistry, theta and alpha brain chemistry. You've got four main brain waves. You've got your alpha brain waves, your theta brain waves. Those are enjoyment brain waves. Those are relaxing brain waves. Babies are in theta. That's where babies are. Mostly in theta, but alpha and theta. They're slower brain waves. The fast brain wave is a problem-solving brain wave. That's called beta brain waves. Most of us spend our, most of our lives, if not our entire lives, in beta brain wave states. Anything you could do to get into alpha brain wave and theta brain wave states is going to increase your ability to enjoy life. And you don't need to have music to do it, although we love music because it naturally does it. 
but we can do it on ourselves. We can do it on our own. Many of the health strategies we talk about on the bright side are really strategies for activating theta, or, or associated anyway, with uh, activating theta and alpha brainwave states. The alpha brainwave state is known as the, is known as the uh, hypnotic brainwave state, and the theta brainwave state is known as the um, dreaming, dreamy brainwave state. If you've ever woken up in the morning and been sort of half asleep, half dreaming, and somebody turns on the vacuum cleaner and all of a sudden in your dream, you're dreaming about a vacuum cleaner or maybe an airplane or some other loud noise, you've experienced the theta state. The theta state is what happens as we wake up, and it also is what happens as we fall asleep. And that's why you get these weird, you probably know what I'm talking about, these not kind of dreams, not full-blown dreams, just weird ideas and thoughts and experiences and just weird stuff happens in your brain as you're falling asleep and as you're waking up. That's the theta brainwave state. You don't want to necessarily be there too long. But the alpha brainwave state, that's a, real, that's a, that's a nice one. That's a chill one. That's nice and relaxed. And that's where hypnosis comes in, by the way. And you can, we don't, you don't need to go to hypnosis, a hypnotist to be hypnotized. You can do self-hypnosis. And self-hypnosis for health is a really awesome, awesome health strategy. All right, 844 is our number. Jeff has been holding on forever. Let's go to Jeff in California. Good morning. What's up, buddy? Ben, how are you? I'm doing good. What's going on this morning? Hey, hey good, good. quick question here. I'll go as fast as I can because I know you're pressed for time. Um, I've been, uh, my situation, I've been training for 22 years. I have 15 nice. certifications almost all through National County Sports Medicine. And after 22 years, I've done it all, seen it all. I've nailed everything down to only listen to you and Dr. Wallach. 22 years, you guys are the best. Thank you. I find a lot of time I thought what you thought this whole time, everything you say, I uh, understand. I sometimes listen to five shows a day. I cannot get enough information in my mind about the body. I absolutely I love it. Love it. Uh, that's why I do uh, this really? program. So I, sometimes I wonder oh, if there's anybody listening, but then every time when, when I get calls like yours, Jeff, that really is very validating. Because sometimes I think what? it's too technical. Or it's not too technical, right? It's not too complicated. No, it's not. You explain it perfectly. I, don't, I can't believe you don't have 20 million subscribers it, well, on YouTube or this show. <laughs> I can't believe you don't. Well, that just goes to show. It's because people, okay, it's not. On, hold on. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we got to take a break. It's not titillating. Okay, this is the information is not. I don't pander to you guys. It's not titillating information. It's not fearful information that everybody loves. The fearful information. Anyway, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Right side, talking to Jeff in California. Jeff, you there? I am Jeff. Yes. Hey. Yeah, real quick, okay. I want to ask you about hormesis and cortisol and um, overtraining. I'm actually training yes. to beat world, Guinness Book of World Records for push ups. No kidding. How old are you, Jeff? How, how old uh, are you? Nine. Very nice. Awesome. So, uh, yes, you want to be, you want to make sure you're leveraging rest periods. So if you're, you know, doing your push-ups every day, you might find that you can take a day off and be stronger on the third day, on the, the next, the day after you take the day off or a couple days off. And that's how you want to yeah, assess well, it. Well, yeah, what I do in my training, I mean, not only that, for one, I do Bikram yoga twice a week. I do a ton of endurance, thousands nice. of folks a day, weight vest. I do all my nice. cardio with an elevation mask on, which enters with the deep breathing. Um, I do all the, my cardio, lightweight, tons of reps, lightweight. I've been training like that endurance for a long time. But what I'm taking right now, I've been living through the blender for years. Uh, just on my diet, like 11 eggs a day, flax seed. Well, you're doing uh, great, man. Beets, how do you feel? You feel good. You feel good, right? You feel you sound like yeah, you feel I good. Yeah, and after my and after my training, I do the BTT branch chain aminos and sixty milligrams of dextrose an hour into my workout, and I continue on that for two or three hours. I know uptake is the best um, after you train. Uh, part of I do, like I said, I do a lot of training. I do a ton of training. Yoga, jump, I do everything. I don't want to overtrain, but then again, like when you look at like you don't want to undertrain Ironman or the Olympics. How do you? Can I beat the overtraining yeah. by all my diet and everything I do? Yes, of course you can. But you just got it. The key to not overtraining is a combination of the nutrition, which you got handled, and rest. Enjoy the rest period. Find a way to uh, find a, a nice sweet spot of rest. Rest is, is when the muscles grow, uh, Jeff. Plus, it's a reward. 
Rest is key. I know, it's, and it's, it's, it's tough yeah. in here, so I'm extremely OCD, and I just... I, you know, really but here's the thing, Jeff. you got to make a decision. Do I want to maximize my productivity, or do I want to indulge my OCD? Okay, there's your choice right there. I, I don't mean to be harsh or anything, but <laughs> no, that, no, that's, I, ba- that's, ba- that's basically what it comes down to. Do you want to be maximally productive, maximally successful in your endeavor, or do you want to take, you know, just be OCD? OCD is kind of lazy in a way because it's, you, you're going against the grain to be non-OCD. So it's kind of work I to do. go non it's a workout for and you. Listen, l- listen, let me just say this one thing, uh-huh. Jeff. It's a psychological yeah. workout for you to defeat OCD and rest. So while resting may be, seem like it's lazy, in a way it's more of a workout for you, and you're actually being lazy by indulging the OCD. Does that make sense? If you're a workout yeah. warrior, which it sounds like you are, the operative totally. word, okay, operative word is warrior, not workout, warrior. If you're truly a warrior, Jeff, and a workout warrior, you want to be psychologically working out with the OCD. In fact, the internal, our internal warriorship is much more important than our external warriorship. Are you with me? You, that's yeah. where that's the fundamental warriorship of your uh, that we want to live our lives with is internal being an internal warrior, and that means mastering our psychology, not just mastering our physiology. In fact, it's easier to master your physiology once you've mastered your psychology. Are you, are you, are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and it's crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm 49. I've dropped to like 178, probably five percent body fat, like a machine at 49. Well, don't you want to look for? Yeah. My skin is perfect. That's awesome. You're probably doing great physiologically. Now turn it inward and let's start working psychologically. Make make a, your workout warrior your next battle or your uh, OCD your next battle. All right, I got to go, Jeff. Yeah, it sounds like point. you're doing great, okay, though. You got it. All right, Thank man. You, man. Thanks I for calling. It, I'm man. glad you called. You All bet. right, buddy. Bye. Okay, uh, let's go to Dorium in Virginia. Good morning, Dorium. What's up? I'm well, thank you. What's up? Hey. Um. Question um, is, um, how long is the transition period for the skin, the skin cells? Well, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. You mean the turnover time, the cells the moving up? Time. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Um, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. But it's f- technically, it's four to eight weeks. Oh, okay. But as, you, but as we age, you know, that's when it becomes longer. And okay. that we're gonna, that's a, that anti-aging is speeding that process up. Did it make sense how I was saying how the cells rise to the top, they dump their contents overboard? Remember yeah. I was, I was talking, right? Mm-hmm. So the more you can do that, the faster you can get that turnover time, the more contents you're going to get dumped overboard, the healthier your skin's going to be. And there's lots of strategies for doing that. But tune in tomorrow because we're going to talk about that a lot tomorrow. Okay. No okay? problem. All right. Yeah. Take care, Dorian. Have a good day. Alrighty. Bye-bye. All right. Okay. Let's go to Doug in Missouri. Good morning, Doug. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey. How are you doing? Doing good. What's going on? I, my father is 82 years old okay. and was diagnosed with age-related Parkinson's. He does okay. not have the typical shakes or anything like that in his hands, but he's having a lot of difficulty in walking. His, okay. his it just doesn't. His legs don't, his, he's just fine. don't worry about the diagnosis. Doesn't matter. His body, okay. his brain, his nervous system is deteriorating. Period. Okay. Okay. Doctors they put them. They, they put them on cinnamon. Levodopa. Levodopa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's the same. That's a, you know that's the, the same do, same doctor strategy that's been going on for fifty years, sixty years. They haven't changed it. it it's been okay. since the nineteen sixties. Cinnamon or seventies. Okay. Just a long time. Okay. They okay. call cinnamon the brand name levodopa. It's the hormone. Here's the okay. logic. Here's their logic. Their non-logic, okay. I should say. The brain is deteriorating. We put more hormone in the system, you'll get more effects. Okay. Right? That's their logic. Now, it truly, it is dopamine is what you're basically doing is giving them dopamine, which is an important neurotransmitter. And sometimes people feel better when they get dopamine, but that doesn't take care of the problem. The okay. problem is the nervous system is deteriorating. And the nervous system is made up of cells, so it's the cells that are deteriorating. Why do cells deteriorate? De- deteriorate, starvation, suffocation, toxification. Those are the three things that are going wrong with your dad. Now, he's 82, okay. so he lives in the, you know, we live in the United States on planet Earth in the year 2018, and he's 82, so, you know, he's been crapping up his body for 82 years. Not, no knock on him. It's just us. It's our lives. It's our culture. Okay, okay. so... That's just how it is. If he's not completely vigilant to everything he does in his body, this is just the natural course of events. So what you got to do is you got to reverse that. Remember, the body can always reverse. So number one, start him deep breathing, slow, deep breathing, SDR breathing, slow, deep rhythmic breathing. You'll make a world of difference for his movement disorder. World of difference. 
Okay? okay. Uh, get, get an app called BioBreathing or My, My Calm Beat on a smartphone. Have him just slip, doing it every day, multiple times a day, throughout the day. Slow, deep okay. breathing. It'll cha- change his life. Okay. Secondly, eliminate the toxicity, whatever that is, but sugar is key. Sugar destroys nerve tissue. It destroys all tissue. So you have to keep the sugar out. At eight, the age of 82, sugar is an unnecessary treat. He doesn't need any of it. You know, okay. I, I mean, if he wants it, he wants it, but, but that's not going to help his neurology. That's the, are, you that's the, about, are you talking about refined sugar? Yeah, or sugar I'm talking about all sugar, fruit? but it's, I'm talking about all sugar. But yes, refined okay. sugar especially. But yeah, all sugar. Okay. He has no need for it. Veggies. You let him get his carbs from veggies. And he should be doing veggies all day long, by the way. Then there's the nutritional component, and there's lots you could do. If it's my dad or it's me, I'm getting intravenous glutathione. Now, I know it's pricey, uh, pricier than a supplement, but it's amazing. Intravenous glutathione. Where do you live in Missouri? Are you in a big city? Uh, St. Louis area, yeah. Yeah, you find a naturopath who could do IV glutathione. In fact, who could do all IV nutrients, but especially IV glutathione. All right. Okay. In addition to that, get him on the Healthy Star Pack just to give him his mighty 90 essential nutrients, extra high doses of vitamin C. They'll probably put some vitamin C in the glutathione shots. That will help. But oral doses of vitamin C will also help him. Make sure you're working on the digestive system. There is a major relationship between the neurology, the central nervous system, and the gut. Make sure he's working on the digestive system, eliminating problem foods. And getting on a good probiotic supplement like the Nightly Essence, eating fermented foods, eating as little food as possible, liquefying his, his nutrients, especially liquid protein. The best liquid protein going is bone soup, chicken broth, homemade. He should be living on the stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, Fu- uh, Fucoid Z might help him out as well. Uh, have him do smoothies and vegetable juices. Get most of his calories from smoothies, vegetable juices, and, uh, and the bone soup or the, the bone broth, chicken broth. That's, that should be the bulk of his calories, and he shouldn't be eating a lot of calories. Also, a good fats will help him. Coconut oil. I'd be doing a little bit of coconut oil and butter. Good fats, very important. Eggs, especially important for the brain. The cholesterol in the eggs are very important. And hopefully he's not on any other drugs. That's the only drug he's on. Uh, there are way worse drugs than the Cinemet. I'm not a big believer in any drugs, but the Cinemet is not as bad as some of the other drugs they give him. Is he on a, a beta blocker, a calcium channel blocker, anything like no, that? No, that he's... No, he. That's the Good. only thing he's on. What they did, the um, Cinemet was creating. Uh, he was very tired with that. Okay. They were wanting to put him on five milligram grams of Ritalin. I, you, know, uh, I, I, you want to explode my brain here? Well, that's I why, that's why I'm calling you. That's, that's why I'm calling you. I can't believe it. Don't yeah. let him do any of it. Connective okay. tissue building, yoga. Glucosamine. Okay. Do have him do some kind of stretching and yoga, or even resistance training, if he could do that. That will help him out a he lot. He does do that once a week. He does more than once a week. Three times okay. a week. Four times a week. Okay. If he can jump on a trampoline on a mini rebounder, that'd be great too. I'm out of time, Doug. Thank you. Okay. I wanted to drug an 82 year old man on Ritalin. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side. Eight four four. Uh, give us a call. Uh, uh, check out our True Treatment products. TrueTreatments.com. TrueTreatments.com. Give you longevity a call at eight six six seven three five twenty four seventy. If you want to sign up and join the Bright side Ben team. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.